What's up Trophy Hunter, welcome to my platinum walkthrough to Horror Tales The Wine. Before you start with the game it's important that you go to settings and enable the photo mode. Because the photo mode is necessary to get some of the collectibles in the game. You can also enable the photo mode in game, but I recommend do it right now. Once done go back and start a new game. Basically the game is a horror walking simulator. There is no fighting or shooting, but it's still possible to die in the game. You can interact with items with the circle button and you can jump with the cross button. It's possible to run by pressing the L1 button. I personally avoid running as much as possible to make it easier for you to follow the video. On this walkthrough I only do some commentary on very important and tricky parts in the game to help you. And no worries, nothing is missable because there's also a chapter select. So guys, the next collectible is now in front of you and it's only possible to get it with the photo mode. Open the photo mode by pressing the touch button and now go through the wooden planks. Leave the photo mode and pick up the collectible. Another important part is some boxes in the game are harder to break. Sometimes you need this kind of boxes to reach a certain area in the game. Remember this because this is necessary to get some collectibles later in the game. Now keep going straight and you will encounter an enemy for the first time. Just keep going forward, no worries he can't kill you this time.
Now keep going straight forward and the enemy will spawn in front of you. Turn around and run away. Run around the pillar and then to the end of the corridor and interact with the lever. Only interact with the lever once and then turn around to trigger another path. For the next part you need to be quick, interact with the cart and then start running up the stairs. The goal here is to jump on the top of the cart to get to the next area.
So the next part is a little bit tricky. You have to lure the enemy far enough away to use the lever. In this section we need to use a lever to activate the bridge. The problem is if you pick up the lever you can't run and the enemy is chasing you. So you need to drop the lever a few times to run away from the enemy.
pick up the flashlight and use it with the R1 button. Please keep in mind the flashlight can overheat, so only use it if necessary. So the next part is another tricky one, you will fall down and have to solve a puzzle. But be aware the enemy is chasing you. The best strategy here is to use the hole in the wall. All three symbols are the same, so press each symbol two times. This level has two very annoying collectibles. After you picked up the key you need to pick up the box in front of the gate. Be careful for some reason sometimes the box will break. If that happens you have to restart the level. We need two boxes to get the first collectible. Drop the first box right here and now get the second one. The second box can be found behind the gate where you have to use the key.
pick up the box and now go back where you dropped the first box. Now use the two boxes to jump on the top of the wooden plank.
For the next collectible we need at least one barrel or box. They are limited so if you break all of them you have to go back to the main menu and then press continue. This will respawn the boxes and barrels. In case you break all of them in this area you can go to the opposite side to find another few ones. Now go back to the cart and jump on top of it. Now drop the barrel or box and use it to get to the top of the next area. This section can be a bit frustrating and annoying especially when the barrel breaks. In the next section an enemy will shoot at you. Use boxes and barrels as cover. If you get hit two times you will die.
So guys we're almost done with the lever, but from now on the enemy is non-stop chasing you. Interact with the lever, but be careful the enemy will spawn in front of you. From now on he will chase you all the time. The first part is easy, there's just one way you can go, so simply keep following the path. So now comes the second part, this one is a bit more tricky. First of all you need to find the key. The key can be found in the drawer to your right, but in this case we have to run in circle to avoid the enemy. Now open the door in front of you run down the stairs and pick up the flashlight. The flashlight gives us access to the next area. Wait for the enemy and run back upstairs. Go straight forward and use the flashlight. Now go left through the door and pick up the lever. Keep in mind the lever makes you very slow, so you just have to drop it a few times. You need to bring the lever to the place where you drop down the hole. So the next part is we have to solve another puzzle. The first one can be found in the dark area. Go up the stairs, turn right and go straight forward. There should be another puzzle machine, just interact with it twice. 
wait for the enemy and then jump down the stairs. Now run back where we use the lever and interact with it to open a door. Now wait for the enemy and run down to the cellar. In the cellar you can find another puzzle machine, interact with it once. Now wait for the enemy and run back upstairs. Now run into the room that you have previously opened to find another puzzle machine. Interact with the left one three times and with the right one one time. Now there is only one more puzzle machine we need to use. Wait for the enemy, leave the room and run straight forward to the next puzzle machine. Interact with it twice and now interact with the lever to your right. Wait for the door to open and then run through it. You should remember this area, but this time you only have to use the lever once. There is no puzzle. This is the last section and very straightforward. Just go to the grave and interact with it and you're done with the game. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for the attention. See you in my next one.